This is a gameplay video of Evasion as played on the Pimax 5K Plus on my GDX 1080 Ti. Coming up. Hi and welcome to MRTV. My name is Sebastian Ang and if this is your first time here and if you're just as excited about VR and AR as me, then subscribe now and click on the bell button so you don't miss anything. So today I'm bringing you a little gameplay video. This is Evasion and Evasion is going to come out tomorrow and it's like a crazy bullet hell shooter where you have to evade and move around and you will see everything in this video. I'm going to play the first whole level on the Pimax 5K Plus on my GDX 1080 Ti. But without further ado, enjoy. This is the first level of Evasion coming out tomorrow. That message was received yesterday at 0620. What motivated the Octera to break the armistice is currently unknown. The transmission originated in the communications tower, which has been heavily fortified. You must okay. break the siege. Okay. Proceed this really car. looks nice now. So things look super clear right now. Colors, colors pop. Let's do this. Let's go to the reach. No, let's reach the comm tower now. And yeah, I do so with free locomotion right now. And here is, I don't know, is this, is this an enemy? No idea. Anyways, 90 meters to reach the comm tower. Oh, and stuff looks great here. Clarity is fantastic. Hostiles incoming. On the 5K the plus. Road. And let me take out the first enemies here now. Okay. So I can reflect, I can reflect uh, their their weapons with my shield, and I can also tether them if they have this skull next to them. But now, not now. Here, now. Yes. Okay. I feel like I'm in a first-person shooter, which is heavily inspired by a space pirate trainer. Basically, it feels like <laughs> like, an, like a first-person shooter, a version of Space Pirate Trainer with the ability to move around, which is kind of cool. Oh yeah, I need that power-up. Okay, stuff looks great and stuff runs great too. On the 1080 Ti and on my Pimax 5K+. Plus. So if you want to have a look what kind of um, components I use here to make this happen. It's 1080 Ti and the rest of the com components you can find, no, you can find in the description below. Oh yeah, so if I, if I long press the trigger button, then I'll have like a stronger shot. Cool. Okay, I have this guy too, and I can tether him, and that's it. And I even got some, uh, yeah, some health. Thank you there. Yeah, looks great. Uh, the big FOV, as always, is incredible. <laughs> I am so in the action right now. It is truly amazing. And there's lots of action. I mean, there's lots of action, as you can tell right now. Just there's so many of these... Uh, of these fireballs. I think it's really tough to react to them. Good that I have the shield here. I can kind of um, like hide underneath it. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay. This is this is a great game for fans of this kind of bullet hell stuff. Where yeah, you really have to evade. Well, that's why it's called evasion, right? <laughs> The population of Feral Colony was 12,113. Where are they? Where are they? They are all gone. But I'm here now to help them. To help them out. I 
think this yellow tank that I got just got, I think that was a weapon upgrade. Though, which is good because I really want a better weapon. Oops. Yeah, I think I have to hide here first. And get take out these ones on the left first. Okay, this is this is a truly a game which but you should move a bit. Oh no, oh no! Oh no! Okay good. I I really needed that power health. It helped power up right now. So I have to move and I have to I have to kind of like um Yeah use the shield to reflect those those fireballs. But I better go go here now and first get rid of this enemy here. <laughs> it looks like I'm playing tennis. Oh my god. Okay, I'm going to take care of this guy right now. So this is really not just a standard shooter. You really have to move around here. And evade. Okay, this guy's gone. Here. Tether. Yes. And health. Health shield. All is coming together now. Okay, you know, normally I love to do this kind of gameplays live. But this time I thought, like, you know what? I'm going to record it because I would like to record this in 60 frames per second. For some reason, I could not, I couldn't really... Um, I couldn't stream 60 frames per second last time, so I just now I'm recording this. But I will do some more tests with streaming 60 frames per second. That would be better. Yeah, it runs very smooth here on my 5K Plus on the 1080 Ti, which is nice. And I have just achieved Mint and Lock. Two steps from hell. Okay. Your resilience is impressive. I predicted that you would be more Oh, it really looks nice. I really, I even don't want to try this with the Vive Pro. I have the feeling it's going to be so bad as what the frames per second is concerned. I know as, as what the FOV is concerned. Ah, this is good. This is fun. So yeah, for people who love, who love this kind of bullet hell games, I think you're going to enjoy this a lot. So I'm, I'm not just playing the single player mode, right? But you can play this with with friends. And I think with friends, wow, this could be big, big fun. But you need friends <laughs> who have VR headsets. Oh, okay. this is going to be a bit dangerous now. Probably I should first get rid of this guy. And then I'm going to get rid of the other. Yes, tether. Okay. Yeah, I think I upgraded my weapon. Oh yes, look at this. Great. Yeah, so let me let me show you again my field of view right now. I'm using the normal FOV, right? So it is. Wait, let me show. Here is the weapon, and here, yeah, something like this, which is of course fantastic. And well, I'm so in in this uh, in this game right now. Awesome, just awesome. So. I honestly, um, just now I was thinking, what can I tell you about the clarity? Again, great. Um, and then I thought about SDE. Well, I didn't, I didn't really see SDE. I was just in the game right now. But of course, if I try to see it in the bright areas, I could still, I could still see it if I wanted to. But honestly speaking, 
just imagine the picture of the Vive Pro over a huge FLV and then you kind of have an idea how it looks. Yes. Nice. The Optera have sabotaged the comm tower and heavily fortified the area. Annihilate them. The Optera! My goodness, these are evil, evil bastards. Okay, probably I should move more, probably. I wonder if they want to move with my real body as well. <laughs> oh, Terra! So, yeah, again, if, whenever you see that, that kind of skull here now, you can tether them and then you can get something like now I get a health bonus and I really need a health bonus. And I can shoot more, I can, I can get better weapons once I tether them. Yeah, look at this. My weapon got better. And if you long press... Oh, yeah. But whenever you tether, your shield will go, is going to go away. So you have to make your own choice here. <laughs> what did she say? I didn't get it. But I got a health. I got some extra health now. Oh yeah, so you can charge your weapon and then you can do this here, oh, which is cool. And again, weapon has got better. And charging, yes, nice. Tether and objective complete. We must restore power to both transmitters okay. before I can access the comm logs. Let's restore the there power then. There is a utility then. port on the far platform. Okay. We're gonna restore the transmitter in 57 meters. Oh, but there's lots of, lots of fire right now. Probably I should like duck here. Like, oh yeah, that, that, that is better, I think. Moving my weapon here all the time here. Thanks to these tethers. Which is I think it's a good idea. Yes. So it's I think it's also really a good idea to, to duck sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Okay, I think there's only one left. I think I can leave my cover here. What a crazy action here. And it's just the first level. I think this must be awesome to play together with some friends. Cool. Yeah, nice. Use your tether so I can access the transmitter's power grid. Okay. Power restored. Yes, power the restored. The second transmitter is located near the comm tower. Oh. Oh, my weapon is so strong now already. Oh. But... It's not looking good, so I have to duck again. Oh, and I'm getting, like, shot, fro shot at from different kind of sides here. No. No! Damn. But I have two lives remaining. 
do this. Again, the transmitter. Whoa. I think I should first take out these guys here. I have to do it step by step. getting really really tough here <laughs> okay so there's one guy left here yes tether It does help to evade. Oh no, these guys again. They are really coming from all the sides. Oh, so I have to be within this um, health circle. Okay, interesting. tiring okay let's see what I can do here yes I think that's all Is it? I think yes. Skimmer approaching. have an action game where you have to duck and all kind of things I think this is for you if you want some some action <laughs> then this is the perfect game for you Wow okay only one left yes Second restored. Yes. Oh, there's always new guys coming up. <laughs> coming up. New enemies. crazy how physical it is. I mean, going down here... Oh, there's a health pad. I need to go inside it. Oh no. Damn, I cannot. Mm, I, th 
think I will die very soon. Yes, wow. Wow, this is crazy. One life remaining, let's do this. Okay, cool. Nice. I think I think it's enough to show you what this game is about though. All right, so this was some gameplay of Evasion on the Pimax 5K Plus and well, it's so much action and you actually have to get so physical, you have to duck, you really have to evade if you would like to survive. So yeah, for fans of this kind of bullet hell shooters, I think you can go for evasion and I think you're gonna have a great time, especially if you play this in multiplayer, I think. It must be really cool to play this with your friends and going through all the levels and yeah, fighting it out. So definitely more interesting than these wave shooters where you only just stay stationary all the time. Here, you really are walking through the levels and you really got to evade and wow, very nice. Only the first level was already full of fun. And well, I can also tell you that for the performance, it worked really nice on the Pimax 5K Plus on my 1080 Ti. Again, have a look in the description of this video to find out more about my setup here, but it is super playable. It was on Pi Tool 1.0 and Steam Super Sampling 100% looked very nice, very clear, beautiful picture. Nice FOV, yeah, you know that by now, right? From the Pimax um, 5K Plus, so yeah. Really, really good. Frame rate wise, it was like around 55 FPS. So um, yeah, it was, it was fine. I didn't feel any stuttering, it was smooth. Of course, probably with the 2080 Ti, you could get another 20 frames per second additional on top. So it would even be better, no doubt about it. Also, I was already using now the improved rendering that that Pimax introduced like probably six weeks ago. So yeah, it works just nice. And I think if you're a fan of this kind of bullet hell wave shooters, where you actually have to evade stuff, then you're going to have a great time here. So I really enjoyed this and I really hope that you enjoyed this little gameplay video as well. If yes, give it a thumbs up. And of course, if you've not yet subscribed to MRTV yet, do so now. I'm looking forward to see you in the next video.